cultural podcast so we move on from that one um look at this king charles has been crowned coronation king charles prince charles is now king charles and he made the the the, the, the flipping reintroduction or debut again of the sausage fingers was there because if you believe a conspiracy there was a picture that went viral of prince charles out and about and people kind of zoomed in on his hands because his signet ring was exploding because his fingers and his hands were just absolutely inflamed and it looked like legitimately like flipping sausages. And and then I think the royal family got wind of it. And ever since then, there's every picture of Prince Charles you've seen before he was king, he had his hands hidden. His hands were even in his pockets, whatever, but you never saw his hands. And this is best this has kind of been the first time we've seen his hands since the first time we saw his hands where the sausage fingers. That they look they look absolutely awful. And probably it's just old age. Maybe it's a consequence of old age. Maybe it's some sort of ailment and condition. But legitimately, they look fake. Like, if you saw that picture here that I've got on screen of his hand on the Bible as he's getting um, christened, the, the king or whatnot, it looks like a picture that you would describe from, like, AI. This looks like one of those AI-generated images of how his hands look. But that's how his hands look. They look incredibly inflamed. So, you know, it is what it is. It's kind of the price you pay for all the flipping African jewels and diamonds that you stole and the people that you enslaved over the flipping history of your career and life. But these pictures of the crown look pretty sick. But it's funny, the, the, the expressions... The expressions on these on their faces are really interesting. You got Charles the Third here, King Charles the Third, right, with the crown on his head, and he looks like he wants to be anywhere else but there, right? He looks really bored, tired, and glum and down. Someone suggested, I think, oh, my friend actually suggested, oh, maybe he's still moaning the death of Queen Lizzie. I don't think that's true, um, but who knows? That could be the fact. But he looks really sad here, really sad, really glum. But look all around him. Look at the jewels. Look at that crown right imagine the amount of black people that died to bring those jewels across the seas and onto his head the amount of families that were torn apart the amount of blood that was spilled the amount of limbs that were ripped apart forget these flipping amazing gems and diamonds on this flipping crown absolutely tragic isn't it but i guess it is what it is the only thing funny about this when they'll put them on his head it looked like it didn't really fit I think they make them custom, I'd assume so. But when they were putting them on his head, it looked like it was wobbling and it wasn't fitting properly. It was a bit of a bizarre little scenario that was going on. But it does look absolutely incredible just to kind of view from the outside. The throne chair looks like it's been something that's been in the family for hundreds of years. There's people carving their names on it. The funny thing I was thinking, imagine if you could be able to carve like, you know, Aggie was here into this flipping wooden seat that he's sitting on. Absolutely crazy. And then the second picture is the funniest one because Prince Charles looks really sad when he gets coronated the queen, the king, sorry. But the next picture that's going to be uploading here on screen, it features Camilla Parker Bowles, who is now queen. And she looks so happy. Like this is legitimately the greatest you know side chick success story of all time this is like her version of style from the bottom now i'm here she went from being the side chick the evil stepmother the one that was partly responsible allegedly for the death of princess diana r.i.p the flipping queen r.i.p the real queen of england you know r.i.p flipping princess diana gone too soon and now look where she is she's on the throne as a legitimate queen how crazy is that how crazy is that that she's on there and she looks so happy she looks way more happy about it than prince charles does and he's a fucking king and she looks flipping glum that's absolutely crazy absolutely nuts but weirdly enough again i know maybe i'm, I'm in the minority here as much as she's an evil meanie am i the only person that thinks camilla looks way more attractive now older than she did when she was younger I know because a lot of it was to do with the contrast because when we found out that Prince Charles was cheating on Princess Diana, it blew our minds back then, right? Because Prince Charles looks the way he does and Princess Diana looks the way that she does. And then you find out the person he's cheating on her with is Camilla Bowles. And you're like, huh? She's ugly. She's like, she, she, she looked like a grandma when she was in her 40s. She looked like she's in her 60s. But I feel like she's aged in reverse. I feel like when she's older, she now looks better. I think the only thing that hurts her is her posture. She kind of has that weird hunchback, you know, evil stepmom walk like a Disney cat villain. But I think visually, face-wise, to give her credit, maybe she's been doing some, you know, South Korean facial um, regiment, whatever it may be. But she looks way better in the face, I feel like, um, like thing in the face than, um, than she did when she was younger, personally. 
Agent Fresh says Diana was cheating too. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about that around here, all right? We respect Princess Diana until the end. We don't talk about all that stuff. We pretend that it didn't happen. We don't talk about that. R.I.P. Dodi as well. We don't talk about all that stuff, okay? R.I.P. the Queen. <laughs> but yeah, Camilla Parker Pose is there doing her thing. Big up her. And then some more tweets here from people uh, talking about it. Oh, yeah, and this is pretty crazy, right? Prince Charles, sorry, Prince Harry arrived there on his own. Uh, Meghan Markle did not want to go. No reason why. She's not pregnant or anything. If I'm not mistaken, she just stayed because I think it's the birthday of their kid or something. So she, she didn't go, clearly, for obvious reasons. But the mad thing about this is that Harry went there. He basically used an airplane like it was an Uber. He literally flew from LA, attended the coronation, and then as soon as it was over, he flew back. He jumped in his cab, he's flipping, you know, luxury car off to an airport and boom, went back to LA to go hang out with his family. So for sure, that autobiography definitely destroyed any attempt or any possibility of him being welcomed back into the royal family, like legitimately. They don't give a fuck about him. He doesn't give a fuck about them. Pretty nuts, isn't it? Like he legitimately went there for the coronation, stayed for an hour or two and then just popped out. He didn't want to stay in the slightest at all. So big up, big up, big up um, Prince Harry for standing on his shit and riding for his family. I love this tweet as well that somebody posted featuring a screenshot of Camilla Parker Bowles taken from the official um, royal family website that lists her as queen looking, you know, dashing over there, right? Looking like a yummy mummy. Yeah. L looking like, um, oh, what's that woman's name again? Um, oh, what's her name? If you know, you know. I wish I could remember. Is it Kelly Frost? Kelly something? If you know, you know. Is it Kelly Frost? Anyway, that doesn't matter. I'm not going to mention it, but if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Big up uh, Camilla Parker Bowles there. And the quote to you is, uh, it says as follows. Honestly, feels like the end of a movie when the aliens win. You know why this made me laugh? Because this reminds me why I liked Ozark. I liked, I hated and loved Ozark on Netflix because the main family in it um, I forgot the name of it, but they're so awful and they do so many eat shit things, evil things, but loads of people around them die. But none of their, none of them, they don't die directly. If I'm not mistaken, one of the, the wife's uh, brother dies or she has to kill him because he's going to snitch and shit, but they don't die themselves. Their two kids are okay. They don't die. They don't get their limbs cut off, nothing. But it is a real cool reflection on the real world. The real world, bad people get away with shit all the time. This whole idea of like, get back and karma that's all disney shit in the real world bad and evil people get away with shit and they sleep like babies they sleep like absolute babies they live a long life you know they don't croak and pass away somewhere in their young age no they live a healthy young life and they die with their family and friends around them that's how that's what happens in the real world unfortunately and this is definitely a case of it but this is the greatest side chick story of all time she went from being the side chick to now being the queen of fucking England. Who would have believed it, eh? Who would have believed it? She got it from the mud. <laughs> she got it from the mud. Big up Camilla. Big up Queen Camilla doing her thing, living her life. It kind of is what it kind of is.